friends in this tutorial i am going to show you how to add a framework named bs image picker which will help you to fetch multiple images from the photo gallery so for that reason the first thing you have to do is you have to install bs image picker using either coco pods or statically adding this library into your project once this has been installed in your project for the demo purpose i have created a view controller with a image view and a button whatever images we will be fetching from the picture gallery will be displayed in an animated format on the image view so when you are clicking on the button we will be moving to the picture gallery we will be selecting multiple images and once the done button is clicked all those images will be populated on this image view so before moving ahead i have already created an ib outlet for my image view in my view controller with the name image view and i have added a ib action for the button click that is add image images clicked so for adding any picture gallery we need to import the frameworks the external frameworks so here we need to import bs image picker since bs image picker internally deals with assets the internal assets library which is available in iphone or ios so for that reason whatever information we will be getting from the picture gallery will be in the form of ph assets and hence we need to import the photos framework as well to fetch those assets and convert it into our image so since we are getting a multiple images we need to store that image for that reason i have created an array of those assets with the name selected assets and once those assets are converted into images i have created an another array that is photo array which will store a array of ui images so moving forward when you are adding when you when a user clicks on the uh, add images button all you need to do is you need to create an instance of your bs image picker view controller so this thing is very similar to what we do for our ui image picker view controller the internal view controller which is available in ios so we are creating an instance the main concept is once the instance is created we are going to present the picture gallery but this time the picture gallery will not be presented through the ios framework but it's a customized picture gallery presented through the bs image controller so for presenting the picture gallery we need to call a method named present image picker controller so this method is going to have multiple arguments the first argument will be the instance that you have created at the top uh, whether you want to make it animated will be passed in the animated block then select in the select you are going to specify all the assets that get selected when the user is clicking on a given image so all the images when it is been clicked the select option is been called when you are unclicking any image a deselect option gets called in this completion handler so if you want to perform any operation on a given selection or deselection it can be handled here if you are cancelling your picker view then you can handle the, that operation over here once all your images has been selected then or uh, once all the images has been finalized then the finish block gets called wherein you can perform your operation so to save the time i have already added this information i am just uncommenting those things so this is my code i am calling the present image picker controller in this present image controller i am i am not doing anything for select deselect or cancel but in the finish operation what i am doing is in this assets i will be getting all the images that are selected by the user so i am just adding all those images into my selected assets array which i have created at the top over here once all those gets added i have created another function with the name convert assets into image so this function 
is going to convert my assets into an image so i am again going to call a for loop on my assets selected assets i am going to create a ph image manager this manager will be responsible for raising a request for conversion of asset into an image so i am taking the default value i am selecting an option that is ph image request option you can keep it either nil or you can specify a empty value for this i am taking a image with the name thumbnail then i want to be it in a synchronous manner so that's why i have kept the value as true for my option now i am calling the request image in this i am going to pass that what is my asset that i am going to use what will be the target size this target size can vary depending upon the size of your image or you can give a hard coded size like width i have given 200 height 200 you can specify the mode whether it's aspect fill aspect fit or scale then you can specify your options in the result handler whatever value you will be getting in the result will be your image and that image i am assigning it to my thumbnail now i am converting this image into a jpeg representation you can directly use this image and add it to the uh, image picker i have added this two line of code in order to show that in case if you want to upload that image to the server you can perform this operation you can take your jpeg image you can take your ui image you can convert it into a data and then you can directly send that data to your server from here you can call a server api and send this data to your server but for the demo sake that is not required but still just to give an explanation how it can be worked on the server and i have added this two line of code i could have directly used this thumbnail over here now on my photo array i have added the new image once this image gets added over here i am calling animation images which is a property of my image view and i am passing my photo array to it i am specifying the duration that for how long the animation should go on and i am starting my animation for the demo purpose now when you are running it for the first time you will be getting an error because your application should support the privacy policy to display the photo library if this is not allowed then you will not be able to see the picture gallery you have to specify a string for your privacy photo library usage description whenever you are adding any privacy related information in your application you have to explicitly specify those informations in the info p list once it is specified over here you can provide any string name any meaningful name over here to know that what is the, what is the purpose of using this privacy policy once this is added and if you run your application you are all get to go and you will be able to see the images you can select multiple images and once that images are selected it will be displayed in the form of animated images on your image image view so i'm clicking on my add image i'm selecting my images from here all done and those images will be displayed here in a animated format so this is how you can add or you can do multiple image selection using the bs image picker thank you for watching my video for more videos related to ios programming using swift 3 you can visit us at http://technicsolution.com/mobile thank you